In today's video we're going to be filleting out a northern pike using the five piece method and uh, we're going to get all the bones out. We're really going to get all the bones out. Hey everybody, Dave Knetter here from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you guys all know Mr. Pike, right? He gets kind of a bad rap sometimes. He's got a lot of fork bones in him. He gets a little slimy in the summertime. Most guys really don't like dealing with them too much. But I'll tell you, if you clean them up right, they're just an excellent eating fish. They really are. And, uh, you know, this particular size one is really nice. This is a 29-inch pike. My son caught this last night. This is a great size for keeping, cleaning, and eating. And uh, what this pike did is it spent the night in my bait refrigerator. So it's been cooled down really nice. And uh, you'll notice as I'm cleaning it, it, uh, it really won't be that slimy at all. So, uh, well, let's get started. I'm going to take my bigger knife. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down right behind the head. I'm going to come down to the backbone. Don't go through the backbone. And I'm going to turn the knife. And I'm going to follow it back. And I'm going to come up right before this fin. But this is one thing to keep in mind. And, and a lot of people kind of miss this. If you go down and you follow and you scrape that backbone all the way back, you are going to be cutting the tips off those fork bones in there. And then this piece of meat that comes off is actually going to have small little tips of fork bone in it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be riding the heel or the back edge of this knife a little bit and going along. And that should keep those tips of those fork bones from being cut off and winding up in this meat. So here we go. Right behind here, down to the backbone. I'm going to come around. And like I say, I'm going to ride the back edge of the, the knife, not the front edge. I'm going to go along. And I'm going to come up right before the fin. Alright. And there's one piece. Now, my next two cuts, I'm going to take these tail sections off. And what you want to do is you want to come into the fish about an inch or so back from where this fin starts. There's going to be a few bones in here. we got a little scar there. We're going to avoid that then too as long as we're at it. But um, you don't want to start right here. You're going to catch a few bones in this area. So from about here back is what we want to do. Angle it in a little bit, kind of get under those scales. And just nice and easy right back. And there's another piece. Same thing on this side. About an inch or so back from where this fin starts. We'll angle it a little bit just to get under those scales. Ride that spine down. And there's that. And a lot of times what happens is you'll get to this point and when you cut this top of the back off, you a lot of times you'll be able to see the tips of the fork bones right here. Now, on this fish you can't because you remember when I came in, I angled up a little bit to avoid cutting the tips of those fork bones. See that that's the issue, you know. Most of the time when guys cut this off and you can see the fork bones right there without even feeling for them, that's because you cut the tips of them off. Well, I didn't do that on this fish. So what we want to do is we just want to find them. And basically they're going to be about halfway between the center and the edge. So like a quarter of the way in. But what you can do is you just kind of run your knife and they, they lay backwards and that's where they are they're right in there so what I want to do 
is I want to cut on just the outside edge of them all the way back. If I would have came right down directly to that spine and shaved right along the edge of that spine back, we'd have all those tips of fork bones in this piece right now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to do that same cut on this side. Down there. Right there. This is where I'm going to use a smaller knife. <clears throat> and remember, those fork bones are about half between halfway center and here. So I'm going to just find it with the tip of the knife. There we go. And just cut along, right along the edge of them. And just start peeling this off. And you'll feel them in there with the knife. Now a lot of guys <clears throat> just leave that belly meat there. It's kind of a tough meat. But there, that, that's, a, that's a boneless piece of pike meat right there. And same on the other side. And you just follow her down. Okay, now we're just going to shuck everything out of its skin. We'll start with this dude. This is where I use the smaller knife just for holding. Let's get it started. We'll just kind of shuck that dude right out of there. And then one thing with this piece is sometimes there's a little bit of a membrane down the middle, so I just like to cut it right out. Just cut on either side of it. It's just a little bit tough. You could eat it, but like I say, it's just a little bit tough, so I don't. So, we got that there. Tail section. And second one. One of our sides. Let's do it around. that there, our other side and there we have it guys and this truly is a boneless pike here there's no little pin bones in here. There's no little pieces of rib here or there. This is going to fry up excellent. So remember, hunt, fish, laugh, repeat, and don't be afraid to keep a pike once in a while. Get the bones out, throw them in the frying pan. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Thanks for watching and God bless.